Yo, what's popping, gamers? Welcome back to a brand new bad business video. And today, we're actually going to do a best class setup on the brand new revamped weapon, Stint. Now, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions. People ask me if this is worth it. I would say this is one of the better weapons to spend credits on because the price for it, no matter what, is 7,000 credits. As where buying something at a low rank like an M4 will be a lot more pricey. So, yes, this is worth it for the price that you're paying. Not only that, this has like really good setups for all types of playstyles. Uh, they're much more universal than any weapon in the game right now, in my opinion. And I personally like to run this current setup right here. And as always, I do like to run the Marksman as well. If you guys are more of a slower paced player or you like to do medium and fast pace every once in a while, Marksman Barrel is really good to go with. So I'm going to give you guys gameplay with the short and Marksman Barrel so you guys will see both. And you guys to choose whatever you guys want to grind for but yeah uh the stin smg is probably one of my favorites right now and to keep in mind that this setup is more based around trying to control the horizontal so there's going to be more vertical so just keep that in mind and i'll show you guys the recoil pattern right now so here's the recoil pattern with the current setup with the short barrel that's about what you're looking at now if this is too much for you to handle you can always throw on the uh the skeletal stock instead of this uh the stock that I have on, just a pistol grip. Uh, definitely throw on the one that is more of like a full stock and or just use the base model stock, which also would help out a little bit. But yeah, if you guys can't control that recoil, just go do one of those things and you should be good to go. This is a very unfortunate start. Okay, we got two down. There's a sniper looking at me. Gotta be careful of that. He's still trying to snipe me. Stop it. Push up this side because he's going to expect me to go the other way. There we go. That's a little flank. Teammates are currently shooting at me. Not cool. Very nice. Should be a couple more. Probably about two or three more here. Nope, I guess not. They didn't get the spawn right here. Got him. Uh, but you do want to run the 7.62 on this because you're. it's not bad if you don't, but you are losing a lot of damage potential. Like, I, I mean, a lot. The amount of headshot damage you get with the 7.62 conversion is insane. So I definitely recommend running the 7.62 no matter what in any of your guys' setups. Whether you guys use mine or not, I definitely recommend the 7.62. Dude, this stupid shotgun pistol. And why does it do that much damage from medium range? It's a pistol. Come on, man. Hey, look at that damage range, man. I'm using the short barrel as well. It's insane. Please don't shoot me. Here we go. Yeah, but there is there is stuff that you can swap out on my on my setup. Uh, but mine's really based around my play style and how I like to play. Benefits me. So if you guys just have my type of play style, uh, it should be really good for you guys. Bro, this sniper guy is so annoying. He has a sniper shotgun pistol combo, and it's super annoying. Oh, I actually can't believe I'm alive right now. Oh, that is death. That is unfortunate. I did not think that was that many people there. we go fly over we actually call him off guard we're just gonna pull out a pretty big flank here i don't know if he could have spawned right here or not we're gonna run all the way around should get us a couple kills okay we got him i was actually really scared of that shotgun go yeah i go quick because there still spawns behind me i'm getting flinched from behind love to see it there is a guy over here he didn't push up what ow oh guy behind me ah that's a no-go ow dude 
That was really awkward. I'm alive. Oh. Shotgun guy. Shotgun guy. Oh my god, dude. We're pushing this. We gotta go quick, though. Could have been really bad. That FAMAS hurts. Got him. Okay. A flashbang. I him. Dude, the headshot damage is ridiculous, man. No! Got him. Oh, and a guy right... <laughs> what is this timing, dude? Got him. Let's push up quickly. Oh, that's... Okay, we gotta go this way. And there's a guy behind me. I almost choked that. That's an enemy shoot me from behind. Stop it, please. Oh, he had an AK. That could have been really bad. Oh. No, uh, AK guy shoot me in the back as well. Yeah, but this is pretty much what you're expecting to get with the Sten gun. Uh, and I'm not even warmed up yet. I, I'm literally not warmed up yet. So this is the type of gameplay that I'm pulling off with this first game of the day. No need to warm up. We're just going to go ahead and push down. I'm not going to challenge two a or a FAMAS and an AK. No, thank you. <laughs> I, I honestly didn't mean to go that far. I meant to actually like just go straight up, but I didn't pull back in time. All right, 58 and 13, not too bad. All right, so now I'm going to show you some gameplay with the Marksman Barrel. I'm not going to give you guys like a full game, but I'm going to show you guys some kills and what you kind of expect with this. This is what you're looking at right now with the Marksman Barrel. Actually much easier to control than the Short Barrel. So if you guys, again, can't control this, it's too much for you, put on that wired stock and it'll help out a ton. I'm scared to be out here. Okay, that's a teammate. Is it? Okay, it is. Okay, somehow I'm currently alive. I am being fought by everybody right now. They have riot shields. What is happening? What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> this enemy team counters me pretty heavily. Will not lie. Oh, you're so lucky. He was dead in that next headshot, just so you guys know. He's gone. I kind of want to just go kill that guy that's sniping. Really badly. Go up here. There we go. Two down. Following a guy up. You are not the escape artist. I am. There's a bot here. I'm not. I'm just gonna let him be. He could do him. Not worth the kill. There's a guy camping up here with a sniper. It looks like he's gone. That's him right there. The white. The white suit. That's a lot of players. Not gonna lie. White suit guy is a sniper guy. I feel like I keep hearing a riot shield behind me. There we go. Yeah, but I mean, this setup is also good. You can't go wrong with any of these, like, like at all. And you do want to use the 760 rounds. You can get away with not using them, but you're, like I said, you're giving away so much damage uh, for not using them. Like, the headshot damage is so nuts, man. Yeah, but that's going to do it for our setup video. I know this was a little bit quick. I have a ton of stuff that I'm doing. Uh, we're currently in heavy, heavy development for my game Flashpoint, so I don't have much time throughout the days. Also, there was a Battlefield reveal uh, trailer today, and I spent a lot of time uh, towards that. I'm so hyped for it. Uh, definitely going to be a video every once in a while on here of Battlefield, but there'll mainly be content on Twitch and also on my YouTube second YouTube channel.
which if you guys want to check out, there's always a link in the description down below to my second channel. But yeah, I, I apologize for the short video today, but this is the setup. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, all of these attachments. And if you guys want to switch stuff up, uh, you can go short or marksman. You don't need a laser. You guys got to stop thinking you need lasers for these weapons. There's only a very few weapons in here that actually benefit from a laser. All of them are pretty accurate hit firing. You don't really need one. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for all the support recently. Hopefully this setup was helpful to you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.